Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Fable 2. Alright, when we left off, I was, uh, dealing with the Normanomicon with, uh, the idiot brothers who had decided to spawn a bunch of hollow men here. And, uh, I found the demon door for, uh, the cemetery. And I accidentally opened it without showing you guys what the process is. Uh, that's the thing. Um, to be fair, I thought it required more than what I did. <laughs> um, this guy was talking about how in his past life before he became the Demon Door, he ate a lot of meat. Meat, 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 meat. He would not shut the fuck up about meat. He just wanted to have a little bit more. You know, because likes to... They, they, they like to remember their old time in their flesh and uh that's usually the best way uh they can get through this bullshit so uh there's a couple chickens here uh so i just kicked one along thinking i needed to feed all of them to him so i just kicked one along kicked it right to the demon door and then he ate it and uh apparently that was enough uh, i thought it required all three so there's your, uh, there's your fix for that, and <laughs> there's your, uh, solution for that particular puzzle. Oopsie doodle, my bad, I didn't get to show you, but still, it's, it's there. And, uh, I never went in, so let's go in and see what we can get out of this, huh? Because I believe they randomized these a little bit, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. I, uh... I do not claim to know. <laughs> just, the dog just said, Oh, the treasure! It's like, yeah, I know. I know. I know, buddy. And... Valverine Strength Potion. Hey. Practiced Skill Potion. Infused Will Potion. Hey. That actually sounds good. Let's pop all of those as quickly as we can, huh? Got to get into that eventually there we go uh we got yeah we got all of these this one's pretty strong there we are no bonus experience of course it's usually how it goes and whoops that's not what i meant to press Have to go back to items uh another potion pop that perfect and then one more. That's a skill potion. Beautiful! Now I can afford accuracy. If I really want to be lazy about it. <laughs> you have enough experience to buy a new ability! Yay! Let's let's actually look. Because I do have... Yeah, I do have physique that I can buy through experience. But I want to check skills. What do I have? I really should start uh, picking up with accuracy and speed. I really should. Even though speed is a small boost to overall speed. But still, that's better than uh, none at all. Uh, sure, let's do this. Because I don't really need... Yeah, I don't really need all that much of my general experience to be able to do physique. So yeah, let's do that. There we go. I think that was good. Yeah. I feel good about that. 21 strong. Okay. And nothing else. Gotcha. Perfect. Let's get back to the Bowerstone Cemetery. And then give the book back to the idiot brothers. <laughs> because, uh... Yeah, apparently they need that to uh, put back. Maybe. If they're uh, going to renounce their idiocy, they need to do that. Go back to Bowerstone Old Town. Oh, man. Woke up and uh, did not feel too good. So I'm kind of trying to shake it off as I go. Give Sam the neck... Uh, necro. I was about oh. to call it the Necronomicon because that's oh. what it's supposed to be. Oh, shut up, you big babies. Right. 
What page was the undo spell on? Uh, oh, here we are. Okay. Tantir Barada Kanda. Muck look. What? Okay. You got Max and Sam out of this mess, but who knows what mischief they'll get up to next. God only knows. <laughs> But, uh, I can guarantee it's going to be stupid. Hey! Some more renown. Who can complain? Definitely not me. I'm going to see what I can do. Okay, I heard the fuck. You little shit. I could have sworn I shot you. Oh, I forgot about it during the fucking thing with the dumbasses. Completely forgot. What are you talking about? What? Bones and blood if ever I saw one. Huh? Well, I'm going to shoot you. Super so good. Really? Really? There we go. Okay, put that away before someone gets scared. Quite frankly, I was surprised that didn't scare anyone. Okay, nothing over here. Nothing worthwhile, anyway. And let's check this stall. The old town clothing stall. Hmm. I could buy that. Sure. Why not? We'll buy the stalls in the place before we start uh, spending money on the buildings. All shops are closed at night. You don't say. You don't say. Okay. Oh, my hero opinion helps me uh, get a little bit of a discount. Gotta love that. Old Town Weapons. That'll give me more of a discount when I'm buying shit. There we go. I bet you say that to all the girls. Is it true an adventurer? You, I was trying to listen to Is It True an Adventurer, but then they didn't even get to a point where I could hear them. Hi there. James Vendorstall. Oh. Well, thank you. Well, aren't Thank you, you very much. I don't even know which office. stall you run. I want to say... Uh... The weapon stall. I want to say that. I'm not entirely sure, but I want to say it. Okay. So. Done a little bit of exploring now. Yep, that's, that's Scottish, alright. I can tell by that accent. That is Scottish. And then the uh, weird way you say cannot. Uh, huh. Five minutes of fame, Mask of Evil. The Felling Residence. That's, that's an unfortunate name. Home to one of the most notorious crime lords Old Town has ever seen, Jeremiah Felling. This house was for many years the base of operations for the biggest organized crime ring in the land. The Bowerstone guards were never able to arrest Felling, but he was killed in a shootout with a rival gang. His funeral was one of the most extravagant and well-attended to be staged in the city. Well, of course. <laughs> They're gonna have all that money, might as well, you know, make it worthwhile. Let's buy and rent out. Can I get into it? Yes. Oh, would you shut your fucking mouth, dude. I'm... It sounds like he's up here. And he's not. No, he's over there. Okay. You gotta be quick. Okay. I accidentally scared one. I'm still great. You still love me. I can see the heart icon over your head. Don't you talk about, like, I'm not great anymore just because I shoot a gargoyle that's shouting Scottish insults at me. How dare. How dare. Oh, this is... This is where uh, me and Rose used to live. It's now Beehive. Huh. Well, at least there's honey. Okay, where's the dig spot? Come on. Not the tofu, huh? Let's uh, see if I got the item. Huh? 
yeah. And Rose's Diary. The latest entry, written over the rough drawing of a castle, reads, I managed to find a nice piece of charcoal this morning, so I can finally start writing again. Still haven't finished putting down the story about the warrior girl who fights snow monsters. Sparrow always likes, <laughs> always likes listening to that one. Sends him right to sleep. It's not so easy for me. Winter is getting colder, and soon our shelter won't be anywhere near enough. We'll freeze to death if we don't find something better. Uh, you realize I put better as proper pronunciation, unlike some people from Lutton. <laughs> Luon. Um, and the family of travelers who let us stay in their caravan last winter haven't come back this year. It was nice having someone to look after us for a change. If only we could find some secret passage into the castle. We're small enough that no one would notice us. We'd be like ghosts or like mice hiding in the walls. We tiptoe out when everyone goes to bed and raid the larder. I bet they have so much food in there they'd never even notice. Bah, dame dreaming isn't going to get us anywhere. You have to think of something, Rose. You're the big sister, remember? Oh. Oh, she never even got a chance to think of something better. Where'd you get that no Where'd I get that what? That nice what? Okay. House of Hard Knocks. Some of the toughest men and women in Albion have lived under this roof. Not all of them were criminals, but the house has acquired a reputation for being a dangerous place to visit. Because they will beat the shit out of you. Nice coat. Oh, the nice coat. I got that from the Bowerstone Market. Thank you. It is very snazzy, I know. Okay. Where the hell am I again? Yeah, I was over back here. Goes this way. Did this thing. Always nice to see you. Well, it's nice to be seen, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's weird. Okay. Nothing really special down here. I figured I'd check, but yeah, nothing. Yeah, well. I tried, anyway. Can you please, thank you, get out of my way. That's nice of you to finally get out. Okay. What do we got here? The House of Goodwill. Hello. At the same time that crime lord Jeremiah Felling was plotting his activities next door, a most unassuming and pious couple by the name of Heap lived here. Though they passed much of the, their lives unnoticed, the beggars and homeless people of Old Town always knew they'd be welcome with a bowl of hot, hot soup. There we go. Not hod. And this is actually pretty cheap, considering. There we go. Perfect. And, uh, what do we got here? If I can, I, I'm at the place where you can examine property. Thank you. Shiza. Speed boost and heart of corruption. Oh boy. All right. It is said that so many orgies and acts of depravity took place in this house that one who dwells in here cannot help but be tainted. Wow. Wow. No wonder it's got the name The Pit. <laughs> Shit. All right. That was, uh... No. No, I don't. <laughs> That's typically my life to do that. Okay, what do we got here? The Bennett House. Animal Magnetism. Benjamin Bennett, a dandy with such stylishness. <laughs> a dandy with such stylishness. Stylishness. I can't fucking talk anymore. <laughs> and good fashion sense that even the manliest men couldn't help but admire him. Really? <laughs> we had to go the stereotypes? Okay. Lived here once. For Benjamin, such a simple activity as walking down the street for a pint of milk could be turned into a work of art by virtue of wearing the right hat, or simply adjusting his gait to best catch the sunlight at that particular time of day. That's weird. That's weird. Alrighty, I'm getting more money the more I buy, so I might as well keep going. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see what we get here. What is this? Alrighty, whoops. The Knuckles. Tough as nails and troll face. Okay, there's a story here. In this house lived the three most trusted members of the Felling Gang. 
brothers who shared the same love of violence and the same lack of good looks. They were responsible for carrying out the dirtiest jobs no matter how tough. Well, I mean, with this particular face, you might as well. <laughs> okay, there we go. Used up all my money again, but hey. At least by uh, next recording, I will have a fuck ton more. I, I already had like 50,000 that just popped up when I started this recording. I had 50,000 gold and now I've invested all of that and it will be probably doubled by the time the next episode comes along. Uh, yeah, I got those two. I think there's one stall I missed. I'm pretty sure there's a stall I missed. I think... I trust you're doing well. You trust correctly. I have no idea what to say about that. I got this one, anyway. This one was the Old Town Gift Stall. This one, however, I did not get. And this one is relatively cheap. Hmm. It's relatively cheap, but I still can't afford it yet. <laughs> it's the Old Town Food Stall. Some say that there is no better food than that you can buy in street stalls. Technically, you're not wrong. <laughs> Technically, you are not wrong. It is scary how not wrong you are. Oh. Hello! Got a silver key. Got a treasure chest. Hello! What we got? Water down XP potion. That's fine. That's just fine. Uh, pop that. Cause why not? Really? Come on. Perfect. There we go. I like that the only one I haven't used up entirely is my magic. <laughs> the end is almost nigh. Okay. Wedding bells. Okay. Nothing. Okay. How about this one? Nope. How about this one? Nope. Okay. Well, we tried. We tried and we failed. For three out of five. But that's fine. That's just fine. I could sell those later. Eventually. Okay. What do I got? I, oh, I hadn't gotten any more gold yet. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, you better realize that I, I already own him. Technically, he owns me. It's usually how most pet relationships go. The pet owns the person. Anyway. I'm going to... What was that about cider? Okay. Got weird. This is gonna be brilliant. Hey, it's you. Come yeah. On. Yeah, it's me. How about that? The temple of me. The what was the what of shadows? I was not even paying attention enough to understand what he said. All right. Um. Okay then. That was a thing. Have I checked this cellar yet? I, I'm at this point. I'm just checking cellars. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. After dealing with that stuff, mm, I have. Okay, cool. That's all the proof I need of it. Bower stone, old town. Fair enough. Ah, huh, it's starting to become daytime. Might as well stay up long enough to sell off the books. Stay around anyway. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay. This used to be a little guard stall here. Stall for the guard. I don't even remember this the guard's name. I mean he's the captain now, but I have not seen him since. Huh. Anyway. Oh, he needed to fear me enough for that. I'm not gonna make him fear me. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Yet. Okay. Hey, there we go. That's what I needed. Hey, there you are. You're Dan the Sheriff. Okay. Nice song. I guess. Alright. Now let's buy this. And now we own all the stalls here. Yay! I made an accomplishment. 
that I completely made up myself. Okay. Um, yeah. That pretty much covers everything that I wanted to do. I mean, there's a couple buildings left that I need to buy up, but that can wait until next episode. Or several episodes down the road. It depends, honestly, on uh, what pops up. I want to check the quests. Uh, we got... Really, we don't have that many other ones that are off to the side here. Really only got the Hero of Will we need to do. But that one can get really involved and take a really long time. So I'd rather get everything I can done. I can get done, rather. I can done. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I'd rather get done all I can get done in Albion first. Before I continue on with that. So... Blacksmith Big Sale. I'll check on that, I guess. I could do that. Um, yeah, I could do that. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> now for my treasures. Some of the things these people say when they're half asleep. It's just... Fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> on Wednesday, we are draining the blood from virgin chickens. And on Thursday, we anoint ourselves in said blood. I, just, I did not catch the rest of that, but it already was uh, getting pretty weird. We're not making anything official. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you are so misled on this right now. Alright, I need to buy one of these houses eventually. Just to have a place to live in. Really. That's all I need. It's all I want. It's all I need. Okay. But for the time being, we're a little bit over time. Just a, just a tad. And right now I'm just waiting to check on the uh, blacksmith who's not here yet. No. I was wrong. He was here. Let's go see what he's got. Good to have you back. It's good to be back. Um, nothing special. Okay, well, we tried. Alright, we'll just end the episode here for right now. There's nothing else we can really do here. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and buying up a bunch of properties in Old Town. Because, hey, I might as well buy up some of the places while I have the money. Because I used to live there for you.